Ike is another incredibly popular character within the Fire Emblem series, his games being the first console releases for the series in the West. But how much do you really know about him? Hi guys, I'm Super Radical, and this is a brief history of Fire Emblem, who is Ike, the Radiant Hero. Ike is the son of Greel, the leader of the Greel mercenaries, as well as the older brother to Mist. His mother, Alina, died when he was young. He is introduced to the mercenaries at the start of the game by his father and later takes control of the group after Greel is murdered by the Black Knight Zelgius in combat. The game takes place on the continent of Tellius, where the territory of Dane begins invading the land of Crimea, viewing it as an easy target. This knowledge forces Ike and his band of mercenaries to work twice as hard especially since Ike meets and falls under the service of Princess Alincia of Crimea, a girl raised in secret due to the political fallout that would occur if her existence was known. Ike and his group of mercenaries agree to help take Alincia back to her home of Crimea and help her regain the throne that is rightfully hers. While traveling and facing off against Dane forces, Ike's group helps quell racial tensions between the Bjork and Laguz. Bjork are a human-like race in Tellius, while the Laguz are half-human, half-beast hybrids, and considered subhumans by many of the Bjork. Later, they meet Empress Sanaki of Benyon, who agrees to help with the overthrowing of Dane and the restoration of Crimea. The mercenary group grows larger and becomes known as the Crimean Liberation Army, making Ike a lord in the process. It is later revealed by Ike that he held onto Ragnell, a divine blade that the Black Knight handed to Greel before their duel in order to fight him at the best of his abilities, an offer Greel promptly refused. On top of this, Ike also learns how to utilize the master skill Aether, which lowers an enemy's defense and heals on hit. It also looks really cool. Armed with this weapon, Ike duels the Black Knight during the liberation of Crimea. The battle concludes with the tower they were fighting in collapsing and the Black Knight being declared dead. Finally, Ike faces off and kills the Mad King of Dane, Ashnard, and reclaims the throne of Crimea for Alincia. Ike becomes known as the Patriotic Hero at the end of the game. Following the events of Path of Radiance, Princess Alincia has become the Queen of Crimea and rewards Ike for his services with a title and land which he renounces soon after. Having no love for politics or the noblemen, Ike goes back to his mercenary roots and continues to run his father's troop. News of an oncoming war between the Laguz Alliance and Benyon is brought to Ike's attention and he reluctantly agrees to join with the animal tribe. Thanks to the conflict, Ashera, the goddess of Tellius, is awoken from a 1,000-year slumber and turns everyone except for the strongest warriors in the land to stone. At the same time, the goddess of chaos, Yun, also breaks free from her previous imprisonment and possesses the protagonist of Radiant Dawn, Micaiah. Ike meets up with Micaiah's forces, the Dawn Brigade, a small rebellion force from Dane who are unhappy with the merciless reign Benyon has held on Dane since the occupation after the war. Ike and Micaiah's group head towards the Tower of Guidance to face Ashera. Ike runs into the Black Knight while climbing the Tower of Guidance and has one final duel with him where he finally manages to avenge his father. As the Black Knight Zelgius lay dying, Ike makes peace with the man and upon his death takes the sister sword of Ragnell, Alondite, into his possession. It is revealed through a second playthrough of the game that Ike witnessed the accidental murder of his mother, Elena, at the hands of his father, Greel. After further battles, Ike is blessed by Yoon and ascends to become the Radiant Hero. At the end of the story, Ike disappears completely, becoming a legend to the people of Tellius. By this time, only two GBA games had made it over to the West and fans were eager to play a console version of the game. This, along with how well received the games ended up being, led to Ike being one of the most popular characters in the series. 
The primary artist for the Tellius games is Senri Kita, who seems to have done the majority of design work for Ike. In Path of Radiance, Ike starts off as the Ranger class, with a ratty cape and basic armor, as well as a bandana to keep his hair out of his face. Late into the game, Ike gets promoted to the Lord class and has a costume change alongside it. All of the previous pieces of his costume are of higher quality and more pronounced. He gains additional armor on his boots, as well as a longer bandana. On top of that, his hair ends up spikier overall. In Radiant Dawn, Ike is of the Hero class and takes on a much bulkier, warrior-like build, along with heavier armor on his body. However, his bandana is the same from Path of Radiance. Later on, he promotes to the Vanguard class, gaining considerable armor and his divine sword, Ragnell. Both his bandana and cape change significantly with this promotion. Like Marth, Ike received multiple other credited designs for Awakening, Super Smash Bros., and other games he appeared in. Ike is the third Fire Emblem unit to appear within the Super Smash Bros. series as a playable character. Unlike Martha Roy, he is fairly slow, his attacks being much stronger due to this. He makes his debut in Brawl and appears in every game that follows. You can see Ike as his unpromoted Ranger class in Brawl as well as his unpromoted Hero class in Smash 4. Ike is slated to appear in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch, where both classes will not only be playable, but voiced differently. The player can unlock Ike by playing a DLC mission in Fire Emblem Awakening. Using an Ike amiibo in Fire Emblem Fates will allow him to join the player's party after multiple interactions. A Fire Emblem trading card game released in 2015 called Fire Emblem Zero includes many Ike cards within. Ike also appears alongside other Fire Emblem characters in Super Mario Maker. The player can unlock him by completing a 100 Mario challenge or by scanning an Ike amiibo. Like Marth and multiple other Fire Emblem characters, Ike makes an appearance in Codename Steam. While this doesn't stop him from becoming a lord late into Path of Radiance, Ike is the only main character in the series that is not of noble birth. While Ike considers himself Crimean, he holds no blood ties to the country. Both his parents were from Dane, and Ike was born in Gallia. While Ike never uses Ragnell as his Ranger class in Path of Radiance, he still wields the blade in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Ike is the first Fire Emblem character to appear in Super Smash Bros. who is not a lord. Ike is 17 during the events of Path of Radiance and 20 during the events of Radiant Dawn. This information was first posted on a Fire Emblem Q&A website and later confirmed within the Tellius Recollection series. Ike is generally considered to be one of the strongest heroes in the series, as is mentioned in Chapter 10-1 of Fire Emblem Heroes. He has also been called the strongest the world has known in Fire Emblem Awakening and described as an unparalleled warrior from another world in Fates. During the Choose Your Legends poll in Fire Emblem Heroes, Path of Radiance Ike ranked first place as the winner for males and third overall. Radiant Dawn Ike placed 5th and 10th. As a whole, he received the most amount of votes overall. Originally, Roy, from Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Blade, was going to be named Ike. Ike's name in early designs of Path of Radiance was Paris. The character Priam in Awakening, who claims to be a descendant of Ike, is named Paris in the Japanese version of the game. This is most likely a reference to Ike's old design. With the release of Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn in the West, Ike quickly became one of the most popular Fire Emblem characters in existence, appearing in games so popular they can cost over $100 to purchase online. I'm Super Radical, and hopefully this video helped shed a little bit of light on the Radiant hero Ike for you. Hey, if you guys liked this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I plan to post more of these videos for prominent and lesser-known Fire Emblem characters, as well as characters from multiple other series. If you have a character you want to know more about in video format, leave a comment and let me know. Additionally, I regularly stream Fire Emblem Heroes over on my Twitch account, so stop by sometime and say hello. Finally, a special shout out to Tanuki TV for pointing me in the right direction when I needed design information for this video. A lot of information for this video came from the Tellius Recollection series, which you can purchase online. Thanks so much, everyone. Goodbye.